update as for the flow valve, update as for the thermal well, and update as for the TI. Let me see if I'm missing something. I believe no. So let's just execute the to-do list. So now, SPI is creating the items in the project. Before, they were not yet in the project, and you can decide if something is wrong not to create them. So it's created the right information in the, in the project. So that's it. Let me just clean this for future retrieval. I will clean this. Okay, and now let's see the results. If we refresh this, now we have the loop T1005 with two instruments. And uh, the loop F1040 with the control valve. Uh, as you see, we have even a specification sheet because it's in the profile of the instrument. Okay, if we right click in this control valve, we will see all the association that is coming from the PNID. The line where the control valve is installed, the PNID, the instrument profile, and we could get more information, okay? So you don't have to create anything in SPI if you were in the integrated environment. All the information is coming from the PNID. So your instrument fold don't have to lose time creating loops and creating instrument if everything is done in the PID. Normally, you do this twice. You do this in the PID and you do this in SPI. So in this way, we can avoid a lot of error. Normally, if you get a report from each database, you will see a lot of discre discrepancies in, in, in the way uh, you used to work. In the integrated environment, we will, have, uh, uh, we will, we will avoid errors. So the next step in our demo is to add some dimensions to the valve we just uh, grabbed from the PNID. So for that, we have a module called the Dimensional Data for Piping, or DDP. So we can open the working environment and select the right group. It's this one that is in the profile, actually. Okay? And we will just place some information for this control valve, okay? We will place the inlet size, that is three inches, okay? We will play the inlet, inlet class, that is 150 for this demo. The end preparation, that is RF, okay? The outlet size, that is three inches. Three inches. The outlet class will be 150, and the out outlet end preparation that will be RF. Now I have this information. I can get the dimension from the library. I have a library from vendors. So what I have to do for this is to select for the instrument one manufacturer. That will be this one, and one model, that will be this one. Click Apply, and then, hopefully, let me refresh this information here. I can right-click and copy default to working. So it found what one ma matching library with that manufacturer and that model. So if I click Copy, I will have all the dimensions copy to the instrument. So if we open the dimensional data sheet, we have all the end preparation and we have all the dimensions coming from the vendor library. Okay? The next step is to save this dimensional data sheet and create a new revision to be published. So we just need to click new revision and then again the revision when you work in the integrated environment are handled by Smart Plan Foundation. So you will see the same revision interface each time you create a new revision. Okay? So what we have to do is to select the revision schema, 
This is the available revision scheme in Smart Plan Foundation right now. And the major revision. Click OK. So the revision is created successfully, and now we will be able to publish. So what we have to do is just to go to a smart plan and publish. So now the idea is to get the last PNID and to get this dimensional data sheet in a smart plan 3D. So you will get the new change, that is the control valve, and you will get the dimensions coming from a smart plan instrumentation. Okay, the document has been successfully published, so now let's switch to Santos with uh, Smart Plan 3D. Okay, now that Airframe has published the information from the instrumentation and has actually changed the PNID, I want to show you that uh, I just, while well, he was uh, doing, uh, he was doing his part, I added these two runs, which uh, allows me to have my topology on the line perfect which means it's all green, as you can see. Uh, but now I will retrieve the new uh, version. Um, how do I know there is a new version? Well, we are just showing the integration part, but uh, as you saw on the Smart Plan Foundation presentation, we can work with workflows. So when the PNAD is changed or has any revision, I will get notified by email that uh, I need to retrieve a new PNID. And actually, if I just go into my retrieve option on Smart Plan Foundation, or, or actually Smart Plan 3D, uh, a Smart Plan Foundation will let me know that there is a document that I have retrieved before uh, that has changed. So the first screen I will see is the documents to be retrieved. And in this case, these documents have been retrieved before for me. and. Um, they have changed, they have new versions. In this case, we have, we can see, we have version one, version five. So I retrieve this document. But, but I also have new documents that are here, and I can check them. So I have here the dimensional data from inputs, so I can check this document. So I will retrieve these two documents uh, on this session of Smart Plan 3D. Um, what will happen now? Well, as the PNID is being retrieved and it's been changed, we saw we had that green line. I will check the PNID and uh, that green line will change because he added a control bar on, on, on that pipeline. So I will place that control bar from the PNID and the software will use the information from the PNID and the information from the dimensional data uh, from the Smart Plan instrumentation to place the bar without asking me any information. So that I reuse, I don't need to worry about the, infor the, the information, I don't need to worry about the data, just it's uh, input once and it's reused. So now that the PNID is almost done, I'm going to open the PNID and check what the change is. So let's open the PNID, smart plan, European ID, I'll open the revision, the latest revision, and as you can see, my line changed from green to purple, which means information is correct, but there is a topology mistake, which is this bar, which is blue, this has not been correlated. So let's do that, let's model that bar. I'll insert my comp 